Good morning friends. Welcome back to Panikas Tutorials. In the last video, I have discussed what is a character set, what are the various character sets are there and then I have discussed what is a token, what are the different types of tokens are there such as keywords, identifiers, constants, strings, special symbols and operators. So I hope you have watched that video. If you did not watch that video, I request you to go back and watch that video and come back to this video for better understanding. In this video, I want to discuss about a keyword. What are the different types of keywords are there? What are the rules you need to follow when you are giving a keyword? And then I will discuss what is an identifier. What are the rules you need to follow when you are creating the an identifier? So all these things I will discuss in detail. So I request everyone to watch the complete video for better understanding. First, let me define what is a keyword. The keyword has a specific meaning. We cannot change the meaning of the keyword. And in C language, we have 32 keywords are there, such as we have the keyword called if to write the if statements. You have the for, for the for loop. We have the do, we have the while, okay. We have the switch, okay. This is all, this is small s only okay you have the case you have the break like that we have 32 keywords are there okay and this meaning we cannot change it okay and remember one more important point all the keywords you should write it in the lower case only this is one of the important point every student should remember meaning is that if you write if in small letter, it is a keyword. If you write if in capital letters, then it is not a keyword. It will give you an error for you. Okay, suppose if you are writing like this, if condition something in between a C program, then it will give an error for you because it is not a keyword. The keyword should be used in lowercase letters. So we have 32 keywords are there whose meaning we cannot change it. So this is about the keyword. So I hope you have understood what is a keyword. What are the rules you should follow because all the keywords you should write it in the lower case and how many keywords are there. Now let me discuss what is an identifier. What are the rules you should follow when you are creating an identifier. Identifier is the name of a variable or an array or a structure or any name of something okay suppose let's take that i have my name my name is jagadish kakarla someone would have kept my name like my father or my father my grandfather or grandmother or mother someone would have kept my name am i right what is the use of having the name to call someone or to identify someone we will use their name am i right because we don't know their other card we don't know their pan card because sir you say that sir if you come to the dbms you will say that we will use the key attribute to identify someone uniquely. But we should have that information. When we are going on the road, some old friend, when we are studying engineering, a 10th class friend you have seen on the road, then you will call him with his name. You will not call him with his other card number or a pan card number. You does not remember these things. Am I right? So a name is useful for to identify someone. Similarly, an identifier is a name of a variable or a structure or an array okay now remember one thing whenever someone have kept a name for you you should follow certain rules am i right suppose if you follow the horoscope then you will see the horoscope of the baby and then you will go to the pujari then pujari will say that according to this horoscope the name should start with p the name should start with j or the name should start with some letter he will say then you will look at a good name with that al alphabet and you will keep the name. So similarly, we should also follow certain rules when we are creating the name for a variable or structure or a array, all these things. So what are those rules we will discuss? We have totally five rules. The first rule is that it should not be a keyword. This is very important point then identifier should not be a keyword okay and this another thing is that 
If you look at any identifier, suppose let's take that I am keeping an identifier called NUEM. I am writing int NUEM. Okay. Now this int is a data type. Okay. Data type will tell you what kind of values you can store and what is the range of the values you can store. Now let's take that this is an identifier means this is a variable and the name of that variable is NUEM. Okay. Now if you look at here, this is consists of three characters, n, u, m. So the length of this string is three. Now this first character should always be a character, a letter or an underscore only. So please write down this point. This first point is that the first character in an identifier in an identifier should be either letter or alphabet or underscore. You can keep underscore or you can keep a letter. Meaning is that you can keep underscore n u m that is also a valid identifier or you can keep AUM, this is also valid. But what I want to tell you is that you cannot keep one UM. This one is a digit. Is it clear or not? Okay. So you should not keep a digit as the first character with a variable. Okay. And all the identifiers should be collection of letters, digits, underscore only you should not use any special symbols in the an identifier now let's take that you can write num1 this is a valid identifier you can write n u underscore one two three this is also a valid identifier now you can ask me num question mark is it a valid identifier? It is not a valid identifier because the question mark is a special symbol or a special character which is not allowed in the identifier. Okay, is it clear? So these are the three rules. We have the fourth rule is that we should not use any white spaces. You should not use any white spaces or you should avoid the white spaces. Suppose let's take that I want to keep a variable called Jagadish Kakarla. Okay, int Jagadish Kakarla. When I write my name, Jagadish, I will write, and then space I will give, I will write Kakarla. But when you are writing it as an, an identifier, you should not use any white spaces. Then you will use the underscore here. Okay, so you can use the underscore, but you cannot use a white space to differentiate like Jagadish Kakarla. Okay, even you can write num123 underscore abc like that. This is also a valid one, but you should not write 123 space num123 space abc. This is not a valid identifier. So you should avoid the white spaces. And another important point in the identifier is that it will consider only first 31 characters only. Suppose let's take that you have created a identifier which is consists of 63 characters. Let's take that someone if I ask someone name he will say Naga Surya Venkata Varlakshmi Rama Seta like that they will say am I right one student name if I ask someone will say that they would have kept his father name mother name grandfather name grandmother name god's name all these things they will keep am i right but if i ask his name he will say any one of it so similarly even if you like to create a an identifier of 63 characters or 100 characters but the compiler will consider only first 31 characters in the identifier okay so these are the five rules you should follow whenever you are creating an identifier the first rule is that you should not use a keyword. Suppose let's take that you are writing int if. 
Now tell me whether it is a valid identifier or not. It is not a valid identifier because if is a keyword. So you should avoid using the keywords as an identifiers. The first character in an identifier should be either letter or underscore. It should not be any digit. And the identifier should be a combination of letters, digits and underscore and you should avoid using the white spaces and it will consider only first 31 characters. Now lot of students will ask me this doubt. If I write an identifier as if underscore ABC. Now tell me whether it is a valid identifier or invalid identifier. They will say that it is an invalid identifier. Why they will say they have also the reason they will say that sir if is a keyword you only said that keywords we should not use but if you are using only the if such as int if or float if like that any data type and you are using the variable name this is invalid but here you are using if underscore abc then it is a valid identifier because it is not a keyword now but whereas if is a keyword but if underscore abc is not a keyword so this is a valid identifier so I hope you have understood what is a keyword, how many different types of keywords are there and what is an identifier, what are the rules you should follow for a valid identifier. If you still have any doubts related to this concept, feel free to ask me in the comment session. I will try to clear your doubts as early as possible. Thank you for watching the complete video. Have a nice day.